are all in quarantine. Those are the words of New York Governor Andrew Cuomo today, ordering the state's entire workforce to stay home. We are dealing with a challenge and a crisis that we have never seen in our lifetimes. So I regret to have to announce that as of tomorrow, our public schools will be closed. Remain indoors to the greatest extent to protect physical and mental health. This is a CBS News special report coming on the air as President Trump holds a news conference about the coronavirus. He is expected to declare a national emergency. It's Michelle Obama. Our communities are among the hardest hit by the coronavirus, and we've got to do everything we can to keep each other safe. And that means staying home. This is really scary. The numbers keep going up and the world is shutting down. What does this mean for the Royalty Project now? What do you mean? We can't have sessions if we can't meet in person. We can meet remotely. We'll host sessions on Zoom. But you know it won't be the same. It's so amazing in person. <laughs> well, we'll just have to find a way to make it amazing virtually. virtually. Our first day of the fall 2020 cycle, we are virtual. real virtual. virtual. The first time we've ever done it virtual. Black culture is the pulse of American culture. Our traditions, beliefs, experiences, literature, symbols, music, arts, and resistance have created the soundtrack of resilience for Africans in America and throughout the diaspora. Now we know why we're here. Let's find out who we are. My superpower is intelligence. My superpower is energy, being able to solve lots of problems. My superpower is like kindness. I'll say my superpower is love and sweetness. My individuality. My superpower would have to be art. My superpower is like I can go into the future. The clone, like to like adapt to our space. Kindness and connectivity. Mm -hmm. um, and intelligence. Uh, electricity. Ability to stop time. We have some amazing superheroes in the space. We have people from Florida and the Carolinas and Georgia and DC metro area and Richmond and New Jersey. And we have um, a couple of people joining from the New England area. So Boston, Dorchester, and the five boroughs of New York. We got four boroughs represented. You know somebody from Staten Island? Uh, no. What do yes. you think about people saying that, that we're lazy? It's not Maybe. true. Cause like there's, there's people that are just lazy in general. They could be black, they could be white, they could be like, they could be Indian. They're like, they're not, it's not like really based on race. And it, I think like <laughs> laziness, I feel like everybody is lazy sometimes, but it's not associated with what you look like or your skin color. Slavery is when most black history begins. That's not true. One more fact or not. You got it, Nakiba? Yep, I got you, boo. All right, so the richest person who ever lived was a black man. Fact or not? I thumbs up because um I think I think the richest I think the richest person to ever live was a black man, but they try to cover it up and say that it was a white man. What was your favorite session? What were the sessions again? I forgot. Oh, I didn't forget. Like there was like beauty, wealth, missing history, expressing, expressing yourself, and um, beauty. The beauty session. What's that like? The last one is my favorite session because it's like tying all the sessions together. Mm. It's like a big grand session. It was the most recent one. Because I got to express myself. I kind of like the melon. The melon? Melanin. Oh, my favorite one was um, where we got to choose our career. I like the wealth one. The wealth one. I guess my favorite session had to do with the wealth. I think I like the, um, the wealth. I might have to say my favorite session was the wealth session. Mm, okay. Why do you say that? Because I got to learn about like budgets and lifestyle. We really are trying to teach you guys this session is how can we come up with a budget in a real world, real world situation that will allow you guys to keep that money within the community. Because what we know is you guys are going to be the solution. We're doing what we can do, but it's really you that are going to be able to maintain this along the way. Dear John. If you're gonna be working with employees you don't know, remember remember the book you read about trust and understanding in your own business, The Foundation of Success. I know, it sounds familiar. 
Try to find it after finishing college. P.S. Don't waste your money like your dad said. Dear future me, I hope that you are doing well and that you've graduated college by now. If you are, I just want you to let you know that if you're going through some tough times, that God is with you and you have his spirit on your side, just believe and you'll get past it. Did you all gain any greater appreciation for your parents and like the money that they spend and, and the things they have to? Yes. I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up. I'm seeing a lot <laughs> of that's good, yeah. I did not recognize how hard bills and stuff were. Like, money. money, I got money. So happy to be here today, co-facilitating with this handsome king. Today with our royal youth, we celebrate our natural African features. That's beautiful. And expand our definition on inner and outer beauty. Are you excited? I'm excited. Take a piece of paper and a pen and write down a few uh, negative things that were said to you. After we do read that negative um, statement on that paper and we share it, we're going to tear it up. I was told that I was too dark too bossy and too short and too chubby. I don't care about none of that because I am a boss and I got some beautiful, oh wait, y'all supposed to give me the praise. Here, lift that up. 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 This is essentially going to be a party, right? We really want to show up and enjoy ourselves. Having fun. Chilling on Saturdays with the Royal Youth. Yeah, I won. I like it. Like the vibe that's been in this project for like the entire time from day one. What does it mean to be black? Being black means that you are special in your own way. You are beautiful. Unique in your own ways. Black is a culture, it's strength, it's power. To present yourself like don't be shy about who you are and where you're from. Black is like be powerful, be strong. Dancing, the way we talk, the way we do our hair, the way we show ourselves to the rest of the world. And doing that in a unique way. If you're doing it, it's black. It is. Black to me, it means to be to stand up for yourself, to be independent, to be reliable, to be kind and a good friend. It means the like the power to express yourself and just to be different because we're like so different from all of the other people. And even though even though people like try to bring us down, like the fact that we persevere and like get back up is like so powerful to me. And I'm strong. I feel very powerful when it comes to being around the people that I love, people that I know, like you guys. So how would you describe the Royalty Project? Black adults coming together to create a safe space for young Black children to have positive influences. It's a place to go to like express yourself and just no, no judgment on what you have to say and being able to like say what you feel all of the time. The session up to this point, it's like fix, gets me like enlightened and like it makes me feel like more aware of my like black culture and surrounding. So it's like these, all these like uh, sessions, it's like very like important for me to learn, especially it's because it like enlightens me about my black culture. I would say the royalty project would help young people know about black history. It helps young kids that aren't educated about who they are to understand the, the reality of what it's like being black. The Rosie Project taught me how to budget my money and become a better leader. I would first say that it's about educating a group of colored people, like colored uh, youth, and helping them to embrace who they are and embrace being black. So like the word Rosie Project to me is like a way to express your black, like your, your black culture and like express your, it's like express yourself. We'll establish and identify ourselves as producers of culture. Mm -hmm. So America's fabric is woven with the threads that we've created. We got a new president, y'all. Yeah. yeah. VP is black. Yeah. Okay, all right. There we go. There we go. Woo! Johnny said, this is America. Yeah. This is America. This is America. In our history. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Johnny. Our story. You're right. This is what the Royalty Project is all about.
us telling our story. This is wow. the future of you guys, you, our world. You. And to the children of our country, regardless of your gender, our country has sent you a clear message. Dream with ambition, lead with conviction, and see yourselves in a way that others may not, simply because they've never seen it before. But know that we will applaud you every step of the way. You know, it, it, there's nothing left to be said after that, right?